Hi, my name is Jeff Kowalski and I'm here today with you because somebody cared enough about you and your health to share this information with you. What I'm going to share with you today hopefully will change your life. How many of you have eaten at a McDonald's restaurant? Well, I don't eat at McDonald's restaurants, but um, almost nine years ago I went to McDonald's and I bought a hamburger. I was told that the hamburgers don't rot, don't mold, don't smell, and that they'll last almost indefinitely. And I didn't believe it. So I went there, and again, nine years ago, I bought this Big Mac. You can see the bun looks just like it did nine years ago. The hamburger still looks like the hamburger. I mean, totally amazing that this meat didn't rot or smell. The bun never molded. It still looks like the day I bought it almost nine years ago. So you need to be careful of what you put in your bodies. Um, it was actually about six years ago that I was, I was introduced to the Qi machine. And when I was first introduced to it, I wouldn't have anything to do with it. I said, I'm not interested. I'm already into health. I do diet. I do exercise. I do nutrition. Um, I do cleansing, but I do not do machines. And the gal said, would you at least listen to a tape? So she gave me a tape called the Qi machine and some amazing results. I listened to this tape. And after I finished listening to this tape, I said, if half the stuff on this ridiculous tape is true, I better try the Qi machine. So I tried the Qi machine. And the first time I used it, I have to admit, I was not that impressed. I wiggled, I tingled, I relaxed. But being already pretty healthy, I thought, you know, what do I need that machine for? So the person that had the machine was a gentleman. And I said to him, I said, um, you really think it's that good? He said, yes. And I said, well, if you think it's that good, could I borrow it for a few days? He said, sure, go ahead. So I took it home. I have to admit, the third session on that Qi machine, the muscles in my neck and my back started to release. Now, that doesn't mean much to you, but six years previous to this, I had two car accidents. Every four to five weeks, my muscles would tighten up. My bones would pop out of place. I'd get a severe headache. I'd go see my chiropractor, and he'd fix me. This has been going on for six years. So after that release of tension, I thought, ah, it couldn't be the Qi machine. And again, I didn't want the Qi machine to work. Seven days later, my allergies improved. And I thought, how could that Qi machine help my allergies? I'm just wiggling like a fish. What, how could that help? Well, my allergies got better. And then um, I took my six-year-old daughter at the time. She has allergies. And in, and in three days, her allergies got better. Then I went out of town on business. And I came back about a week later. The first thing my daughter said to me, she says, Daddy, when you were gone, my allergies were good for one day, now they're bad again. Can I go back in the machine? I put her back in the machine, and a day and a half they were better. That's when I got excited about the possibilities of what this machine could do for other people. I started reading information. I started um, inviting people over to my house to try the Qi machine. The first 30 days, our house looked like a revolving door. And we had people coming and going because I was already in the health business. And what happened was, we moved 66 Qi machines our first 30 days in the business. The next 30 days, we moved 120 more. This is almost six years later, and our organization is moving anywhere from three to 400 machines upwards or more than that per month. Now, I don't say it to brag in any way. I say that to show you that these machines work, and they work through sharing with other people. So the first thing I'd like to do is explain what the machine actually does. It increases oxygen increases energy, and increases circulation. Every time I've shown that to a chiropractor or a massage therapist, they say, Jeff, prove to me it increases the oxygen, the energy, and the circulation. So the first thing I want to show you is what we call a Krillian photography picture. This is a picture that shows uh, actually a doctor, a doctor of chiropractor. He took a picture of himself, and it shows the energy coming off of his body. It shows the energy centers inside the body. This is before the Qi machine then 10 minutes on a Qi machine, then 15 minutes on a Qi machine, then 20 minutes on a Qi machine. And what happened was you can actually see the colors go from yellows and greens to the reds, blues, and purples. Those are the healing colors that start to come out of people. You can also see the dot center dots in here. There's seven of them inside the body. Those went from being teeny to being about 10 times larger. Now, for those that have never heard of Krillian photography, Krillian photography is similar to if you've ever seen a spy movie where you're, where you're watching TV and there's a, there's a house and then there's a picture and there's a little heat image of a person walking from room to room, a little red image. That's the same technology except this is more fine-tuned.
So that proves that the energy goes up in the body. The second thing is the circulation. And a nurse friend of ours took a oximeter finger probe, and that, that's what they use in hospitals. They put them on fingers, and they test the oxygen level inside the human body. And she took that, and what happened was she tested 29 volunteers, ages 21 to 68. And, and basically, she tests them before the chi machine, put them on the chi machine, and tests them again five minutes after the chi machine. And the oxygen level had gone up between 1 and 7 percent. Now, that maybe doesn't sound like a lot to you, but it's actually very dramatic. I have a friend who was a paramedic, and when he puts a mask on people with actual oxygen, he said if he gets a 2% increase of oxygen, he's doing good. Also, there's six major benefits that occur with the chi machine. Cellular activation, spinal balancing, improving the immune system, blood production, balance of the autonomic nervous system, and exercise and internal organs. Using the chi machine every day is like getting a total body massage. Dr. Inouye was the inventor of the chi machine. He was the chairman of Japan's Oxygen Health Association. He spent 38 years of research. He put over 100,000 patients on the chi machine before bringing it to the market in Japan. He studied fish and he proved that you could take a human being and move them like a fish and increase their oxygen concentration. What happened was a gentleman had passed out at a railway station and he was turning blue. Dr. Inouye got down on his hands and knees and grabbed him by his ankles and started swinging him back and forth and back and forth. After 20 minutes, the color started coming back to his face and he actually revived this guy. He then knew his theory had some validity. He got together with a German engineer and that's when they spent all that time researching and putting people on the machine to get the exact right speed, the right figure eight movement, the right height, compatible for both men and women ages 3 to 103. Also, I was personally able to experience um, that technology when I was fishing in Mille Lacs Lake. I had caught a huge walleye from down deep, and I reeled him up, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep him because we have slot limits that don't allow us to keep certain fish, so I had to throw him back. I mean, I'd love to keep him, but uh, the law said he was the wrong size, so I let him go, and he was laying there upside down in the water. The friend of mine that was with me um, knew enough to quickly net him bring him back to the boat, and he turned him over, and he took him by his tail, and he wiggled him and wiggled him for about five minutes, creating that fish-like motion on the fish, and after five minutes, he let him go, and that thing just took off. He basically revived him. So that's what the chi machine does, it brings life back into your body. I'd also like to share a, a study that was done on or lymphodema. This was done in Australia. It was a clinical study that was done, and they had patients that had swelling of the legs, which is lymphodemia, very, very bad because of surgery that they had and cancer treatment. And they tested them. They put them on a chi machine for 10 minutes twice a day. And after a three-week period, the lymphodemia had reduced in size dramatically and their quality of life had gone up. Everything was seen to be much better for them. And then they took them off the study and they test them again eight weeks later and after eight weeks of not using the chi machine, it was still, um, the lymphodemia increased, but it did not go back to how it was originally before they started. So there's actually a residual effect of using the chi machine with the uh, lymphodemia study. Now I'd like to share with you another book that's called The Unmedical Miracle Oxygen. In here, they talk about the importance of oxygen. You can go without food for about a month. You can go without water for about a week. You can go without oxygen for about four minutes it's, it's, and it's all over. So oxygen is the most important nutrient on earth. And in here, they talk about that. It says in here on page 24, remember, oxygen is our most vital nutrient. A skimpy supply of it can cause the first weak spot of the body to become vulnerable to disease. Remember, disease proliferates where cells receive insufficient oxygen. Disease cells like cancer, MS, diabetes, psoriasis, Parkinson's, AIDS, heart disease, emphysema, those are all anaerobic cells. That means they thrive where there's little or no oxygen. Then on page uh, 33, medi recently medical scientists in a number of countries have found that cells of all degenerative diseases thus far researched are anaerobic without oxygen. And again, in other words, degenerative disease cells proliferate only where cells get little or no oxygen. Healthy cells live and thrive as long as adequate oxygen 
and good nutrition are supplied to them. Reduce that supply and the cells become puny, as one able researcher termed it. They change, the they are distorted, they themselves degenerate, and those around them do the same. And then Otto Warburg says this, he won the Nobel Prize when he proved where cells get enough oxygen, cancer will not, cannot occur. So now I hope you're getting the idea of how important increased oxygen is to you. And again, we've proven that once you're on the chi machine, the oxygen level goes up. Many times people have asked me, how does a chi machine actually increase the oxygen in the body? And it's kind of difficult to explain. It's kind of like, how does your car engine work when you turn the key and you get where you want to go? It's just, you turn the key. But you get on the chi machine, it works. But Dr. Uh, Lipton actually explains it rather nicely in this paper called the um, Health News. And on, it's just a one paragraph. He says, the chi machine stimulates the autonomic nervous system and one of the effects that the bronchioles in the lungs open up, thereby increasing oxygen exchange. Consequently, the circulation has to increase to handle the additional oxygen. So that's the simple way of explaining how the chi machine actually increases the oxygen in the body. And if you're low on oxygen, you're probably, um, well, the lower you are, the more unhealthy you are. The higher you are, the better you are. In fact, the guy that wrote the book, um, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Jack Canfield, I just listened to one of his tapes uh, last week, and he had said they did some studies and they found that cells that are highly oxygenated don't die. Now, I don't know if the chi machine is going to prolong your life, but I'm using it every day to make sure I have adequate oxygen going into my system. I'd like to share a couple of testimonies with you. Um, this machine is so powerful that people have called me up and said, Jeff, you're not going to believe what this thing did for us. And I said, you know what? Most people will not believe it unless you send me a, a letter in writing and sign it and then I can show that to people. So the first one is Marie Haley from Foley, Minnesota. And this was back in the year 2000. It says, in October of 1999, I had a severe stroke. It affected my entire left side. When I was released from the hospital, I had very swollen ankles caused by bad circulation and the medication I was on for high blood pressure. I also lost the use of my left arm. I had physical therapy for the arm, but it didn't help very much. It was at this time that my daughter introduced me to Chi Machine. I started using it immediately two times a day for five minutes each time. I worked up to 15 minutes morning and evening. I did not notice anything for three weeks, and then one morning I noticed my ankles were totally normal. My left arm continues to improve each week. I have about 95% use of it now. I have had my chi machine for five months now, and my swollen ankles have not returned. I can finally say that I feel tingling in my left arm and hand. It took five months, but the circulation is good. Two other things I noticed is that I sleep very well at night, and I lost two inches of my waist. I thank God for my speedy recovery, and I thank my daughter, Patty Scott, for bringing the chi machine to my life. Also, what she doesn't mention here is she told me her doctor told her she would die with swollen ankles. It took five months, but the swollen ankles went away. By the way, I gave this testimony to somebody about six months ago, and there is not a phone number on here, and they called me back and said, Jeff, I called up Marie Haley. I said, how'd you call up Marie Haley? She goes, well, we happened to know Marie Haley from about six years ago, and we wanted to make sure that your testimony you had was real. And I said, well, what did she say? And they found out that the testimony now today is better than it was back then because she now has 100% use for arm back. So the Chi Machine continues to work years and years and years later. Also, um, this is called Flood Your Body with Oxygen by Ed McCabe. Ed McCabe actually got thrown in jail for, well, they said it was tax fraud, but really it was because he was helping too many people with oxygen therapies. He was actually getting rid of diseases. Anyway, after he got out of jail, he wrote his second book called Flood Your Body with Oxygen, and he was so impressed with our chi machine, our hothouse, that he put the, both machines in this book on page uh, 408, actually I think it's 407 and 408. He's got a picture of the chi machine in here, and on 408, He's got a picture of the hothouse in here, and he talks about how beneficial they are to increase the oxygen and to um, repair the body. In fact, I should probably just, uh, uh, just read this. It says on the hothouse, it says, the uh, company sells a semi-solid, state-of-the-art, one-third circular foreign fred light emitter, light emitter called the fur hothouse. We lent ours to a friend's husband who had lung cancer. They called to say that by his line under it, his pain completely stopped the first day. 
Far infrared rays are not stopped by the atmosphere and penetrate the body and in increase blood and lymph flow and therefore the oxygen flow. So anyway, again, awesome book that's got tons of information about oxygen therapies in there. Um, another gal called me up. She was from Huntington, Indiana, and her name is Drury Jones, and she told me her story. I was so impressed that, again, I said, please, please send me a copy. This one's kind of lengthy, but it, it kind of is going to hit a lot of people in the right area because she had so many different problems. You may know of somebody that's got one of these problems, and you may be able to help them with our machines. She says, our massage therapist brought a chi machine to our home one Wednesday evening, saying she would pick it up the following Friday evening. I have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. For some time, my feet and legs from mid-calf down have been numb. I had given up driving. I acquired both an electric and conventional wheelchairs. There were times I could not walk the length of our living room without sitting down or without the assistance of crutches. Along with this, I had a great deal of pain in my legs and feet. I always seemed stiff and sore. Often I had great difficulty just getting laid down on the bed because of spasms in my back. For the past several years, except when out of the house, I had used an oxygen concentrator around the clock to lessen my pain. Because of this habit, I did not remove the oxygen when I began using the chi. I began by using the chi about two or three minutes at a time, but quickly advanced to five and ten minutes. Soon I was using the machine one half an hour at a time, three times a day. I was told this was too much, so I shortened the time. As I did this, I felt my legs backing off too, so I boosted the time back up. I feel by using extra oxygen, in addition to the chi, I was giving myself a double whammy. By now I have settled down to a routine of 10 to 15 minutes, two to three times a day. I adjust the time according to what my body requests. After using the chi three days, the feeling was returning to my legs. At this time, the two small toes on each foot are still a bit tingly. I have learned how to walk again. Yes, I had forgotten how to walk properly and had to retrain myself. I have noticed many other benefits, loss of pain, sleeping better, varicose veins disappearing, more mobility and energy, no muscle spasms, loss of weight, just plain feeling better, etc., etc. Shortly after getting the chi machine, we were, we were to leave on vacation. After using the chi machine a few days, I thought we could leave the electric chair home but would take the conventional chair. But when we left home, we took only crutches and oxygen concentrator. We were gone three weeks and had a wonderful time. Neither crutches or concentrator were taken out of the van, nor have I resumed use of them. I joined my cousin walking entirely around the Mall of America without assistance. I was tired, but I made it. I did not mention that when the therapist returned for the chi machine on Friday, we did not let her have it. We purchased the machine. We received the chi machine on June 20th, 2001. It is now January 21st, 2002, Drury Jones and she gives her name and phone number. She also puts in parentheses, I have lost 40 pounds in five months without changing my diet. When I met her, it was six months and she was up to 45 pounds that she had lost. I said to her, I said, imagine if you had changed your diet. She said, Jeff, I don't want to change my diet. Now we've had many people report weight loss, um, pain disappearing, more energy, better circulation, um, diabetics, it's an absolute godsend, the diabetics. They have bad circulation and their sores don't usually heal. I'll explain more about what happened when we worked with a diabetic when I talk about the hothouse. Also, um, Dr. Lipton has written a, a book called The Collection, Medical Case Histories, The Chi Machine in the Hothouse, Far Infrared Dome. And there's phenomenal testimonies in here. I'll give you an example. Asthma, arthritis, back pain, cancer, depression, um, diabetes, energy, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, headaches, insomnia. We found that if our kids get a headache, they immediately go on the chi machine and I put the hothouse over their face. Within about 15 minutes, 90% of the time that headache's gone. Uh, the last one I want to share here is Peggy Sebring. Many of you may know people with multiple sclerosis. Peggy Sebring, Peggy Sebring had multiple sclerosis. It says, six years ago, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis by Dr. Schumer at Vanderbilt Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. I've tried all the medications for MS, and I had severe reactions to all of them. I'm using magnets, vitamins, raw fruit and vegetable, vegetables, and vegetable juice with some success. For the last two and a half years, I had a headache and a swishing sound in my ears. This was 24 hours a day. 
My neurologist told me that I was caused by the myelin being eaten away from the nerve. He said nothing could be done. How many times have you or a loved one gone to see a doctor and they said nothing can be done? You're just going to have to live with it or bear it. It says, but just after two days in the chain machine, my headache was gone and the swishing sound in my ears was totally gone too. I was taking sleeping pills and pain pills nightly, but still waking three to four times. After using the chain machine for three weeks, I'm sleeping the entire night without sleeping pills and having very little pain. I very seldom take pain medication now. My energy level is much higher and my day is longer. The optic nerve in my right eye has been damaged from the MS, but with the chain machine, my sight is slowly returning. I thank God that Kathy Kubler introduced me to the chain machine. It has given me a much better quality of life. Thank you, Kathy. Peggy Sebring. Now I'm telling you, these testimonies mean more to me than all the money we've been making moving these machines because they make a difference in people. So again, I ask you, how many people do you know have some of these problems that could benefit from these machines? This is the Canadian brochure. It comes from the company. And in here are a lot of good information on the chain machine. Now, one thing I want to read to you is the precautions on the chain machine. The precautions from the company state, the massager should not be used under the following conditions. Immediately following an operation or if suffering from bone fracture within three months after an operation, if suffering from serious infection or bleeding injury or serious heart disease during pregnancy and within 30 minutes after eating a meal. It also says if extreme pain occurs during the massage, such pain should be investigated and rectified before further use of the unit. Now I want to mention though, um, they talk about uh, surgery. And again, if you've had surgery, it just makes sense to not use the chi machine until that surgery is healed because it increases the circulation and if it hasn't healed, it could be dangerous. Now we've had people that have actually used the chi machine and it's been less than three months because the surgery healed in a, short, in a much more shorter, shorter period of time than the three months. Also it says um, during pregnancy. Now I've heard of some women actually using it during pregnancy. They were using it before pregnancy and they continued to use it while they were pregnant, but that was their choice. Um, other women choose to not use it during pregnancy. And you can imagine when you're laying there on the chain machine as that big belly gets bigger and bigger, it's going to be uncomfortable. So again, that's up to you and it just makes sense to um, not use the chain machine within 30 minutes after eating because uh, you know you got to let your food digest a little bit. You can use it just before a meal but wait about 30 to 40 minutes after a meal. Also, um, five minutes on a chain machine is equivalent to a 30 minute walk in the amount of oxygen you get. 10 minutes is like an hour and 15 minutes is like an hour and a half. So we always recommend that anybody that's elderly or sickly, they start off extremely slow at the chain machine, just a minute or two or maybe even 30 seconds if they're really feeble. And then as you get healthier and get better, get more oxygen, get more circulation going through the body, get more energy going through, you can start to increase the time. The company actually recommends five minutes for the first week, you know, twice a day, 10 minutes the second week, twice a day, and 15 minutes um, the third week, twice a day. That's the way you can gradually go up. Um, every time I've worked with people and they call me up and say, Jeff, you know, I'm just hurting, my legs are hurting, I, this, I don't feel good, they've always, always, always went up too quickly. So anytime that happens, we need to back down because using it, it's the American way. They figure, well, if little is, is good, more is better. That's not true. With the chi machine, in the beginning, less is better. Now, I've also been told, I haven't verified this yet, is that once you work your way up to 20 minutes, if you want to go that high, your body goes into pH balance. And for those of you that know how important the pH balance is with alkaline and acid, it's extremely important. In fact, we've been told that cancer cannot live in an oxygen environment. Cancer cannot live in a, in a completely balanced pH balance environment. So if you can get your pH in balance and get your oxygen levels up, you know, you just got that much better chance of living a healthier life. So again, um, I tell people, be very careful in the beginning and gradually work your way up. I'd rather have somebody work it through slowly and slowly move up than to go too fast and say, Jeff, this machine doesn't work and I got sick on it. Well, the thing is, it worked too good for them because they did too much too fast. If I had one gal call me up, it was her third day on the chain machine, and she called me up and she goes, Jeff, I'm in bed. I can't, I can't even get out of bed, and I hurt all over. I think the chain machine messed me up. And I said to her, I said, well, how long were you using it? She goes, well, the first day, five minutes, 
second day 10, the third day 15. And she was about 60 years old. I said, well, good news and bad news. The good news is you're going to get better. The bad news is it's going to take a day for you to recover. And when you recover, go back to five minutes like I told you and stay there for a full week. And she did and she was fine. So again, just be careful with that. Now we're going to demonstrate the proper use of the chi machine. If it's not used properly, you're not going to get the maximum benefit. So Pam, if you could come in and join us and demonstrate the chi machine. So the first thing we have people do is they have to drink their water. So did you already drink your water, Pam? Yes. Okay. The second thing is you want to sit down, put your feet all the way to the end of the chi machine, come a little farther, and then go ahead and lay back. You always have to have the handle facing away from you. And if you have it turned around the other way, it will not work properly. Then put your, lift your legs up and put your legs in the ankles, ankle stirrups there. And then there's three different positions for the arms. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start the chi machine first of all. There's a timer on here. Each dot is two minutes. So if, if a person is elderly or sickly, you only want to start them off with two, two minutes or less. If they're in generally good health, you can start them off with six minutes. Now, if you try to start them off with two minutes, it will not start until you turn the timer all the way to the star, which is six minutes, and then you can turn it back. So we're going to turn over the six minutes position here because Pam's in pretty good health and she's been on the chain machine before. Now, you can see how her ankles are wiggling really nicely all the way through to her body, all the way through to her head and she's aligned up straight on the machine. You always want to make sure people are straight on the chi machine. And then once you get started, there's three different positions you can use for your hands. The first one is having your hands out like she's got them there. That position is good for release of tension, mood balancing, insomnia, internal organ discomfort, and constipation. The second position you can use if you want to is to put your hands behind your neck, actually behind your, kind of like, just like that, you don't want to lock them, you want to kind of have them just like this. And that position is good for migraines, headaches, bone spurs, misaligned spines, sore back, gout, and arthritis. The third position is over your head and having them laying back like that. That's good for weight loss, shoulder tendonitis, release muscle tension, release nervous pressure, and full and round breasts. Now that's why I don't like that position. <laughs> All right, now but for starters, I usually have people put their hands back at their side and just relax. And when somebody's on the chi machine, please do not talk to them. That's their five minutes to relax, get the energy flowing, get the oxygen flowing, get the circulation flowing, balancing the spine and everything. And you want to have them per actually close their eyes, <clears throat> deep breathe, and just let the machine work them. Now, if somebody happens to have bad knees, knee replacements or um, the, the bowed knees, they may need what we call a knee pillow. And then we just slide a knee pillow underneath them like that. Or for people that have bad backs um, or back pain, the knee pillow will slow the action down a little bit, but it's going to save the knees and save the back. So we tell people, use a knee pillow if you need it. If you don't need it, it's best to not use one because then it gives a little better motion. So you are going to lose a little bit of movement, but again, We've saved uh, people's uh, backs by using that if, they've got, if they're already prone to having a bad back. Now after the chi machine stops, you do not move for two minutes and you time people. Do not talk to them, do not say anything, do not get up. If the phone rings, don't answer the phone. What will happen is 60% of the benefit of the chi machine occurs after the chi machine stops. So that's when you should feel one of four things. You should feel either a tingling sensation, a floating sensation, a sinking sensation, or nothing. People that feel nothing are usually elderly. They've had a lot of stress. They probably have a lot of tight muscles. Um, they've, I'll give you an example. I had a gal that was 30 years old, and the chi machine stopped. And I waited two minutes, and I said, did you feel anything? She said, all I felt was tingling my fingers. And I said, have you ever been to a massage therapist? She said, no. I said, have you ever been to a chiropractor? She said, no. I said, do you have a lot of stress in your life? She goes, well, I've got four kids under the age of six. So she was blocked up, and the energy was not flowing through. Her head barely wiggled. But here's the good news. She started using the chi machine, and after about two weeks of using the chi machine, she felt tingling going from her feet up to her knees. 
Three weeks, it went about to her waist. It took six weeks, and she was able to get the energy to go all the way through her body. So if you start off in the chain machine and you don't feel it right away, it's okay. Like I said, if you've had a lot of stress, a lot of tight muscles, a lot of injuries, um, you may not feel that all the way through. So um, you'll feel one of those four things. Again, wait two minutes. After the chain machine stops, do not move. And if you do get up, what will happen is you'll almost be like a drunken sailor. So, I mean, I, I did that one time. The chain machine stopped, and I got up, and I answered the phone, and I'm like, ho, ho, hello. So do not do that. Then after it stops, you wait two minutes, you can do three exercises. The first exercise that people do is bring their knees up to their chest. You can grab your knees with your arms, pull them close to your chest. And that stretches the spine this way. The second um, exercise we have people do is put your hands flat out on the floor and palms down. And if you're, if you're flexible enough, then you can rotate your knees all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. And you do that about two or three times. And again, if you're not very flexible, we don't want you to do that complete stretch the first time. If you're not very flexible and you're elderly, we want you to keep your feet flat on the floor and just rotate just a little bit one way and maybe just a little bit the other way, okay? We'd rather have you understretch and overstretch. The third position is you put like your left leg flat down the floor. And again, only do this if you're very flexible. Bring your knee up, take your left hand and your right knee and look that way and pull this way. And then again, if you can do that all the way, wonderful. You do that once and then put your other foot down and then bring the other knee up and then pull just the opposite way and look this way. And what that'll do is it'll really give a nice twist to your spine too. And I actually have had my back kind of snap, snap when I do that to give me an adjustment. And then you can roll over and slowly get up. And then it's very important to drink some more water after the machine. And the purpose of the water is it helps detoxify the body, number one, and it helps hydrate the body, and energy flows much better through the body with, with hydration. Some people are not able to lay down on the floor, so when you can't get somebody that can, cannot lay on the floor or that has trouble even going into bed, we can let them sit in a chair and put their feet in the chi machine, and this is how that works. So basically, you sit in a higher chair so that your knees and legs are straight, almost like an L shape. If I don't move back just a bit, there you go. And you can see that you get the wiggle motion going from the feet all the way up to the waist. So that's one way of doing it. Again, only if they can't lay down on the floor or they're elderly. Another way of doing it is you can put their hands in it. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm a kitchen table. And we're gonna go ahead and start up again. And then Pam's gonna put her wrists in here. And you can see how you get the wiggle motion now going from the wrists all the way down to about almost the waist. And you can do that a couple of ways. You can actually have them like that, or you can turn your wrists down like that, or you can turn your wrists up. Or you can also even put them farther into it too. And every one of these is gonna work different muscles in the body, all right? Now, what happened was I had a gentleman with Parkinson's and he was not able to get down the floor. And when I met him, he uh, couldn't walk very well. He couldn't speak very well. His, uh, his arm, he showed me, he could not raise it above his, he was standing and he could not raise it higher than this. And his fingers were clenched like a claw. And he literally, his wife had to pry his fingers open, put a glass in his hands, close his fingers, put a straw in his cup, and then he was able to take a drink. So we couldn't do the floor. I tried the bed. Um, his wife was too weak to even put him properly in the bed, and I tried to get him in the bed properly, and it still wasn't real good. So we had him sit in a chair just like this, put his feet in the chi machine for five minutes. And then I had him put the chi machine on a kitchen table and put his arms in there just like this and got the wiggle motion going through for five minutes. And he used the chi machine for 14 days. And 14 days later, I came back there, and he met me at the door. His speech was better. His walking was better. He raised his arm above his head, and he was opening and closing his fingers just as fast as I'm doing right here. Needless to say, he was very pleased with the chain machine. So um, again, anytime you got somebody, or somebody's in a wheelchair um, and they can't get on the floor, they can just kick the pads out from the wheelchair, put their feet in the chain machine. Um, so any of those kind of things are possible. There's also a third way to use the chain machine. I'm gonna have you step down for a second. 
Um, sometimes we have people, as they get older, let's leave the chair right there, they get that extra skin hanging underneath their arm. So what you can do is you can put the chair machine at the kitchen table again, and you can sit in a chair and put one arm in there like this. I'll demonstrate that. And you start, of course, the kitchen table is going to be firmer, but you start to get that, that arm going back and forth, and it starts to tighten up that skin there. And then you turn around and do the other arm the other way. And we've had, within about 30 days, that skin underneath the arm has been tightened up. So it's, there's all different kind of ways to use the chain machine. We just want to demonstrate all the different ways to use it. What I'd like to talk about now is the fake machines. There are some fake machines in the market, and we tell people to be really cautious against those things. Um, they have messed people up. Uh, there was one selling on Home Shopping Network for $99. They had a 48% return rate because of it messing people up. So I happen to get my hands on a fake machine here today, and I'm going to actually demonstrate the difference between the real Qi machine and the fake Qi machine. If you don't have the real Qi machine, it doesn't say Sun Ancon. So the real Qi machine always says Sun Ancon on it, and it actually puts a figure eight motion through the body. It has one speed compatible for both men, women, ages 3 to 103. The fake machines, this is an example of a fake machine, and we're going to demonstrate how they can actually weaken you and mess you up. So I've asked a person here today, and his name is Jordan. He's never actually seen these machines before. He's actually part of the filming crew. If Jordan, if you could come over here, and I'd like to have you uh, just lay down on the floor once, and don't even put your feet in anything yet. Just have you lay down on the floor, and just put, um, I'm going to do a, a, what we call a kinesiology muscle test. So if you could just lay flat on the floor, and then give, which, which arm is your strongest arm, Jordan? Your right arm? Okay, put your arm straight up, and I want you to resist, and I'm going to try to pull down, okay? All right, go ahead and resist. Okay, I could not pull down. Jordan's very strong. Now I want to give Jordan um, a session for only just a few seconds in, in this uh, machine right here. So if Jordan, if you want to put your feet up, and let's see, are your ankles comfortable in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh, one of the machines that's what we call the fake machines. And it's got, a, it's got all kinds of extra bells and whistles here. So I need to set the timer. It's got a high, a medium, and a low on this one. And I'm going to do the medium because that one seems to be the closest to our machine. The high is faster than ours, the low is slower than ours. So we'll do a medium here. And we'll give you 10 seconds, Jordan, on this machine to see um, if it makes a difference for you. OK. And that is about 10 seconds there. We'll stop it. OK, now if you could put your arm up again, Jordan. I want you to resist. <laughs> OK, what happened was all the fake machines weaken people. And I tell people, if you've ever seen a fake machine, or if you know somebody that's got one, you can do that same test. Now, Jordan, I'll have you slide over and go on the other chain machine, which is the real one. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just have you go on it for about 10 seconds. And we'll, we don't need that. We'll start it up here. And we'll give you 10 seconds. OK. Now if you want to put your arm up again, Jason, or Jordan, and I'm going to pull down. <clears throat> you can see the difference, and I wasn't, I was pulling as hard as I could. The real chi machine strengthens your body, puts a complete figure eight pattern through the body, balances all the way through to the head. It actually balances the left and right brain patterns too. Um, the fake machines, I don't care which one it is out there on the market, they mess people up, they've caused back injuries. I tell people, if you've got a fake machine, try ours, and you'll see the difference.